uh, cringe Shaw. That yeah, it's accurate. Everybody, welcome Andrew uh, to the stage. He has uh, joined us once again, um, which is awesome. I did my first like hour on you, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. You're, uh, I've got my volume down, so let me let me turn it back up so I can see how. I mean, yeah, yeah, it sounds good to me. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Sounds great. So can we can we start with a rant? Go, man. Don't mind. Go. Okay. Okay. So I just spent up. like I spent about thirty five fucking minutes ordering a pizza just now because it's not enough call down to the pizza place and talk to a person, give them your card, and then they deliver the fucking pizza. That would make too much sense. So what happens instead is you call the pizza place and it routes you to a call center in fucking India, and then they give you an automated credit card system that you have to go through this stupid-ass credit card system. Then they route you back to a customer service rep who confirms it. Then they finally take you over to the, the actual fucking pizza place. And then all the pizza place does is confirm Right. It was like, it was like literally a 35 minute process. <coughs> Customer you service must be in California. Oh my God. Customer service here blows, blows donkey schlong, dude. It's the worst shit ever. It's the worst <laughs> shit ever. You know, you know what, you know what happens here? You buy a hooker, you call up a hooker and they'd be like, let me route you to an Indian call center so that you can negotiate, you know, how much it is for a blow job. See, it's like, here's what the, the fuck, thing. dude? You, you missed the process, Andrew. See, you're trying to do things like a conservative. If you're a liberal, you would know you call the hooker and she gets your pizza on her way. And then you get your hooker and pizza in 20 minutes or less. Yeah. Yeah. You're well, dude. I mean, a drug dealer doesn't send you to a call center. You call a drug dealer and be like, yeah, bro. How much? What, $40? Yeah, I'll be over there in a few minutes. You know what I mean? What the fuck? How is drug dealers and prostitutes going to give you better customer service than a fucking big megala pizza corp? How hard could it be? How hard could it be to just have someone who speaks English pick up the phone and be like, oh, hey, man, yeah, let me just take your credit card. Oh, yeah, Ram, fine. Got your order, bro. The pizza's on the way. And, you know, you give the guy a big fucking tip, right? That's the way it's supposed to work. Yeah. Well, how the heck did you order a pizza and end up, ended up having to call in India? Because they reroute you to a call center where you process your card information and then they order, they actually give you the fucking pizza. Oh my God. What, where did you order it from? Domino's. Like directly through Domino's or through an app? Yeah. Directly through Domino's. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Papa John's next time. No, this is like the second place I've tried this second place. Damn. Yeah. It's unfucking real. So anyway, that's my rant. I'm just complaining and whining and bitching like a fucking woman right now. But it pissed that's me okay, off. That's okay, it's venting. Okay? You're yeah. Irish, I'm French. Like, we well, do that Without event. your pizza, your estrogen levels probably... Oh, wait, you're French? You're French? Mm-hmm. I it's didn't French know that. Canadian. Oh, well, I was going to say, I mean, I heard your country um, is really going to hell in a handbasket since all the white flag factories shut up, right? Did they shut the doors of the white flag factories in France? Well, not from France, entire, from Quebec. Isn't the entire economy of France ruined? I heard, too, that they have a brand new naval fleet that they're rolling out. And, uh, the French fleet has glass floors. That way, the new French fleet can see the old French fleet. See, everyone, but, uh, everyone where I'm from <coughs> thought I was crazy for coming here and spending so much time, effort, and money into becoming a U.S. permanent resident. And I'm so glad everyone here gets it. What, that the French suck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're awful. They're over yeah. there. They're like, why would you go there? Like, we're, we're having it good here. Like, yeah, before COVID, then COVID happened. Didn't see that come in. I did. How does France get taken over in a single week in World War II? How does that happen? One week. I'm from Quebec. We lost week. against the English. Yeah. yeah but we still uh, speak French. Bad. Quebec. Mm -hmm. That's not even a real place. That, it's not even a real place. It's like Australia. It's not even real. It's just a bunch of French people who are LARPing. I mean, it's what? factually real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, According sure, to my driver's sure. license. Yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. Yeah, I believe you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Sure it's real. 
Don't take my accent aiguille away, okay? <laughs> anyway, well, so what are you uh, what are you guys yapping about tonight? Uh, we've been yapping about a lot of stuff, but we started off talking about your your fan club um, from the Whatever podcast. Uh, I have one of those. Failing. I didn't know I had one of those. Ah, you know the <laughs> the the um, the s- tattooed sleeved girl with the uh, or lady. I mean. Uh, I think she's elderly, actually. Um, elderly, I'm, honestly, give me a break. I'm surprised you're not being charged with elderly elder abuse, man, for picking on that late old lady. But Jesus um, Christ, grid. Oh, wait, it's gonna get rough. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> you talking? Are you talking? You're talking about that 72 year old chick that I was arguing with? Yeah, yeah, the one that looked that was trying to act like she was 30, and uh, we all knew that she yeah. was uh, collecting unemployment and, and social security at the same yeah. time. Well, I mean, it's not every day I get to argue with geriatric eighty-year-olds, man. I mean, right, right. They're gonna get you for elder abuse, brother. They're gonna get so you. So now, so now we're gonna be picking on eighty-five-year-old women for the rest of the night, or what? Why don't, don't you? Don't insult uh, eighty-five-year-old women like that. Yeah. Why don't you calm down, guys? You know, age is wisdom. A little, out, little, little out of hand here. A little out, a little out of pocket, as they say. The funny, the funny thing was that when when I I saw that video on your Instagram where that girl was uh, talking about how you made her cry, how she was crying. I've been crying <laughs> and all of that. And so, and they, she had that girl in the pink behind her. I swear to God, in that video, I thought that that girl in the pink was her mom. Seven, was, uh, seven hours. Seven guys, hours. Seven hours, you guys. Seven, seven hours. Later. Hours. Have and you, I, I, was, I, I was there. No, 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 no. You shut up, Grid One. I was there for seven hours. Your podcast is going to get shut down and destroyed. You kept me there for seven hours and you didn't even care about my abortion story. What kind of sick fuck are you? Exactly. Exactly. Elder abuse. They're it was really funny because she showed that. I remember she showed that clip. It's really funny. She she like opens up, you know, and she has this whole rehearsed speech about how she came to Jesus after she assassinated her child in the womb, <laughs> and that was the fault of an evil narcissist. The narcissist got in there, made her put the coating <laughs> up her own vagina. He so had after me do she, it destroyed her her own prodigy what does she do she goes on the whatever podcast so she can preach the message of the lord well then brian ignores it and says which one do we kick off first and she just looks at him and says i just opened up to you and he's like yeah i don't fucking care (laughs) that was so based (laughs) that's like toxic brian i like right there I only got the one TTS in, and that was it. You know, was, uh, I missed all of it because I was out having my birthday dinner and cake and steak, and you know, went wow, to bed. Wow. You know, had a good time, and then I get up the next morning and fucking Andrew's Instagram post is just like nuts. It's just like, like I was like, what the fuck? And I honestly thought that that lady was it. I thought that that was her mom. <laughs> and I didn't realize how good. Nick and the lighting at the studio and and Brian's studio is. I mean, they they. How look many times good. do how many times do I have to tell you that these fucking gross bitches don't look nothing like that shit in person? I I mean, but this is beyond. <laughs> this is beyond anything, man. This is like, I was like, is that her mom? And then I looked and I thought, no, that's a girl who's sitting beside Andrew the, in the in the pink shirt with the short hair. I'm like, holy crap. I thought she was like in her 30s. Here she is. She looks like somebody's 80-year-old mom over there. And uh, I don't know, man. It was... I'm, I was a little scared for you, Andrew, having to be near these people. So I'm a little, little concerned. You know? You never know. Nah, nah. They don't They do not do anything. I survived. He can, he'll, he'll, he'll survive. Yeah, you're French. You know. Exactly. What the fuck One happened? Can you guys ass. still hear me? Yeah. I can now. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck just happened, bro. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to blame women for that. But anyway, 
So, um, I'm impressed. after the incredible tale of her <clears throat> child assassination followed by it was the fault of somebody else and had nothing to do with me. You got to remember that he was an evil narcissist. You can see how much I care because the very first thing she said about me is that I was an abusive narcissist. <clears throat> so I guess just basically everybody in her life who doesn't get on their hands and knees, pucker up and kiss her fat ass is an abusive narcissist. So that's, yeah. uh, I guess that's the, those are the rules, right? Which by the way, I just want to let you know, that any woman who's that age has a nose ring is a fucking trash heap. They're 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 a refuge pile, dude. I'm sorry. Anyone <clears throat> who has that nose ring is trash. It's not just that age. Yeah, but at that age, that's a special kind of gross. That's a special kind of what the fuck are you doing, lady? So well, anyway, after I all of this, I oh, sorry. Go ahead. I just, oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. It's your show, bro. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right, man. Your I like your rest. <laughs> I, uh, I watched your wife, uh, your wife's um, podcast or stream. What I, I'm not really sure if it was, um, I'm, I think it was live. It might have been uh, recorded. I don't know. I watched it and um, I thought it, she was 100% on point that it's just them rebranding themselves. They're not real Christians. They don't believe in Christian ideals. They don't believe they're not moral. They just they're well, one day they're a the whore and is, the next day they're I, the next day they're I Christian. wouldn't I'm not gonna go so far as to say that they're not Christians. The Orthodox would not question the salvation of somebody else. We just okay. say that they don't have the fullness of the faith. <laughs> and that this is why it's so important. This is why it's so important to have the fullness of the faith. Because otherwise you end up with these bizarre conclusions that leads you to believe that Jesus is your boyfriend. And so, you know, you have to really be, that's, that's why, <laughs> that's why it's super important. It's like with, with Protestantism, it, it, so much of it leads to this, these kinds of um, bizarre conclusions where people can kind of come up with Jesus is my, my boyfriend. And there's no ecclesiastical authority to be like, no, Jesus isn't your boyfriend, stupid. <laughs> G you know what I mean? He's not, he's not your, he's, you're not dating Jesus, retard. Stop it. <laughs> but unfortunately, we live in a society where, um, you know, Christianity is basically peddled as a act you do a single time and then you're good instead of a uh, message of theosis or becoming more Christ-like. And so what ends up happening is um, we end up with no warrior class anymore. Of, of Christian. There's no warrior class. There's nobody left to go. No, you fucking idiot. That's not how it works. Um, and instead, we allow these dumb broads to run around and tone police the entire internet, tone police people who they're engaging with, telling you, no, it's not It's not effective what you're doing, even though there's 8,000 fucking people saying it's the most effective thing they've ever seen. These people are delusional and stupid. And that's a bad, that's a bad thing, right? It's a bad combo. Delusional and fucking stupid. Yes, very bad. Delusional, especially, but stupid added on top. That's like a whole new realm of bad. Well, I mean, the, the problem is, is half these women live in delusion. You try to explain to them how force application works and they look at you like you're a fucking idiot. That 90 yeah, year old, a 90 or 90 pound fucking girl will start to express to you that if she has access to a boom, boom stick, you're going to be in big trouble and you just can't help but laugh your fucking ass off. You're like, lady, if we probably couldn't even fucking cock a pistol if your life depended on it. The only thing you could ever do with a cock is, well, you know, yeah, right? But it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't going to be that on a pistol. <laughs> Chips can't even work the action on a handgun. They can't even work the action on a fucking handgun. They're, they're, you know, they can't even deep. pull it back. They don't have the, the hand strength to pull the action back on a handgun. And they're like, but if women have guns, we can definitely defend ourselves from pain. Get the fuck out of here, dude. No. Get out of here with this shit, fucking retards. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's a little more of my rant for the evening. Uh, Let it all out. I, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, no uh, no doubt. Um, over my uh, Cassidy, over my left shoulder is this is a... Uh, this is not. This is just an RC airplane. I'm not going to take it down because it'll. I'll have. We'll be able to put it back up. But 
just an RC airplane. Um, from I, I don't you know, I don't know where I got it. I don't know why I answered that, but I just thought it was funny. Um, you know that the nineteen-year-old the girl that tried to debate you was very interesting as well. I kind of started to get into that. We kind of kind of got out of it a little bit, but um, <laughs> dude, dude, it is a fucking. This is how you debate a retard. You ready? Here we go. This is how the world works. No, it doesn't. Yeah, no, it it works that way. Nah. No, no, listen, it, it really it really does, okay? You can't put on skin tight leather and just ninja kick three hundred pound men in the face and win. Yes, we can. Uh-huh. <laughs> We've always use, been able to do that. If we use BJJ, you can. Well, you can break all their legs. <laughs> all of their legs. All Not the, some of their all legs. Of them. All of right. them. You break all of the legs. Sometimes you get attacked in a park and then they bust out that fucking Brazilian jiu-jitsu combined with ninjitsu combined with shit jitsu and then they fucking break all the legs, bro. That's how it works. All of them. All of them. You just have <laughs> to take just... enough Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then you will yeah. be will be set. Yeah, I don't yeah, I, I levels of delusion and cope are <laughs> off the chart the level of of patience you showed yesterday in those two discussions we can't call them debates um because i didn't you were the only one there that had any actual sense of reality and i don't know if we could call it debates but the the discussions were were very interesting i i commend you for not losing your temper even once and it really actually looked like you were scolding petulant children and trying well, to educate brats. them they're brats that's what you do with brats you let yeah. them hang themselves on their own words the thing is is it's always nice to do this especially with a petulant brat because they can't escape right it's what teenagers always try to do or women in their early 20s always try to do they always try to escape they're like no i'm not gonna listen to this I'm going to go out and fucking do a gangbang and and do a bunch of drugs, right? And it's like, no. (laughs) No, you're going to sit there and you're going to fucking listen while I explain to you how the world works and why you're tarted and why everything that you're learning right now is total indoctrination and nonsense. All of it. (laughs) And then if you think about it for 15 minutes, the whole thing falls to fucking pieces. You watch them in one performative contradiction after another as their entire worldview is reduced to um, essentially moral nihilism. And they never even knew that they were nihilists. It all gets reduced to relativism. And they're like, well, they can't even make a claim that what you're doing is wrong. Imagine being so stupid that you can't make a claim that if somebody gets up at a table and just bashes your brains in right there, that it's wrong. That's their worldview, bro. Yeah, I um, I honestly couldn't identify with more or less anything they had to say. I, I, I was very. Sh- I mean, again, I commend you. Like it's you're on a whole other level of of just being able, being calm in the face of uh, retardation. And uh, well, again, it's just work ethic, bro. I have a job. I have a job. I have a job and I go and I do my job every day, just like I always have. Clocked in, clocked out. That's right. That's right. But I mean, when you're dealing with um, this is this is common in Twitch, too. You know, there's always some fucking upstart 24 year old, 26 year old who thinks they're fucking God's gift. And just I'll go on with them and just watch them hang themselves with their words. And it's hilarious. You almost don't even need to do any prompting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting because the, both of them would go, I, it was, it was great to see them go, but, uh, and and you could just, you could just see them looking to the heaven for a sign that, that never came. And then they would come back to crashing to earth with nothing. Nothing and go, oh, I guess I didn't prepare or I think you're right. And the, it was great. I mean, it was, it was, it was, po- it was poetry, poetry in motion. It was great. 
well, they're just dipshits, right? The thing is, yeah. is that there's not really any difference between them and most young women. They just are entitled brats. It's really not even that complex. They're just entitled mm -hmm. fucking brats. And you recognize that when their worldview is reduced, it just comes down to me. Me, 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 me. And me. I loved it when you would go, me, love, me, me, me. All I heard was me, yeah. me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah. I love feminism because me. Nothing's greater than me. It's all about fucking me. Oh, that was great. I also really loved it. I love the the dark hair girl, the 19 year old girl. She would throw out these gigantic words that, you know, she had no idea what they really meant or how to use them properly. And she would just throw them out and you would call her on it. Okay. What does that mean? Or what are you, what are you trying to say? And, uh, 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 I mean, it's just like all of the vowels at one time, just. Oh, I don't know. I, I forgot what I just said two seconds ago. I mean, how can you expect <laughs> me to remember that? That was a, that was a long time ago. That was a lifetime ago in 19 year old years. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was, uh, it was really good. And I can't even I remember can't, what I had for breakfast it. because I puked up what I had for breakfast. So that's, that's how I make sure that I stay skinny and have a mental illness that I can make other people feel sorry for me about. So that's, uh, that's how that works. And I commend you for not asking them when they made up their mental illness and when, and how they chose it. I, I would have asked, how did you choose your mental Ill illness? And uh, you you showed amazing restraint, sir. Amazing. Well, the thing is, is um, you don't want to go on to be. So th those are lose lose debates, to be honest with you. Right. Sure. Uh, I show up to all debates, but they're lose lose. If you beat the crap out of a fucking 23 year old girl, what do you win? Nothing. Yeah, you beat nothing, the crap yeah. out of a 23 year old. But if you lose to a 23 year old, well, that's a big fucking L, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's basically a lose lose. So it's high stakes for me and no stakes for them. You know what I mean? From my yeah. perspective, though, I don't care. Like, how am I fucking going to lose? Like, there ain't no way. But the, the trick is, is to understand that, um, you know, what you're doing is you're just putting on display what the worldview is and explaining things that their professor who's been trying to have sex with them all semester would never will. So that's, that's, uh, that's what you need to do. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I, I cannot commend you enough for your, uh, your service. Um, I'm sure that there's some medal uh, that you've earned. I'm not, I'm not really sure who, who gives those out, but uh, it was a work medal. I ended up having to go over to whatever studio tonight, help them out with a table fix. So <laughs> they got their oh, new yeah? table in. Yeah, that's breaking news. Nobody knows yet, right? So oh, nice. But they got their new big table, fucking thing. Awesome. Are yeah. you are you staying in? Are you staying out in California for uh, the next week? Uh, no, just till Sunday, and then I'm flying oh. back. Uh, I'm not going to be on the Sunday show either. I'm flying back early Sunday morning. I oh, would have flown back tonight if I could have, but. Uh, there just wasn't any flights heading out of Santa Barbara till Sunday. That unfortunately happens. Um, that's actually why I started uh, flying again, uh, to be honest with you. I, well, I shot a oh, match. I loathe and, it. I fucking loathe it, bro, because I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, uh, a few years ago, I shot a match on um, uh, Valentine's Day weekend or whatever. And uh, I was gone on Valentine's Day, and I was supposed to fly back Sunday night. <coughs> and I would get back early Monday morning, and my my wife and I would go out. I'm on the way to the airport. I've already checked out of my hotel, everything, got all my crap with me. <clears throat> and um, I'm literally pulling off the range, headed to the airport, and I get a text saying that... Um, that my flight's canceled. So I go back to the, I go back to the hotel, check back in. And <clears throat> supposedly they booked me on a flight for like, I don't know, like six 30 the next morning or some crap. I had to get up at three in the morning. So I got like three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, got up, drove to the fucking airport to find out all the flights were canceled. Cause uh, like half the Southeast and, and like all of Ohio and, all, all sorts of places had iced over and everything was grounded. 
in those areas. So nothing was really flying. And then while I'm at the airport, I get, uh, they said, well, we can book you on this flight. It's not direct to Nashville. You have to, you know, you have, you have to land in LA and then you'll uh, transfer and then, and then go to Nashville. I'm like, okay, great. I'll, I'll, t- I'll do that. I hate LA, but whatever. And I kid you not, I landed in LA and they canceled my flight to Nashville. So I'm in California with all the stuff I take to a match, which is literally all illegal in California. I mean, I've got body armor. I've got um, out the front, you know, automatic knives. I've got my rifles. I've got I've got my SBR, which, you know, I, I will admit now, but, you know, because I think the statute of limitations has run out on that shit, but... I had my SBR with me. I had like a lot of shit <laughs> that, that, I, that I should not be in California with. And, uh, and so I, I literally took a, a, a shuttle over to the hotel and locked myself in the room for three fucking days until I could fly home. And I, I didn't unlock my gun case or anything. I left everything in the closet in the hotel and I didn't leave my room because I was like, kind of freaked out that some uh some like TSA guy was going to mention that all the crap I had in my baggage and caused me problems but uh yeah yeah which it would have they have no sense <laughs> it really would have like I, literally I, mean, I I was like a walking care. You, you could you could have you could have a fucking helicopter go down in California and the pistol flies out of the helicopter and onto the ground right in front of you and you just reach down and pick it up to turn it in and it's a felony yeah, yeah, that's that's no shit. I mean, they're, yeah, they're, uh, this is such a crooked, backwards, bullshit state, full of a bunch of bleeding heart scumbag liberals, and I hate it. Yes. I fucking hate it, and I can't wait to get out of here. Can't wait to go home. I know, man. To the to the Midwest and sit on the back porch with an Uzi and shoot at squirrels, right? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It uh, it was just crazy how you know, and my wife was like oh it's no big deal you know we'll just and i'm like no it's a really big deal like everything that i have with me all of it is will catch me a felony all right like, well chat give him some l's because he let his wife talk that's um that's some fucking l's for you bro <laughs> i thought i thought i thought you believed in the patriarchy l l for you L for I me. Want, I want nothing but L's. That chat better not even give but you. She was trying to reassure that me nothing. that it was okay that oh, I wasn't so she talked, there. She, she she talked again after that, bro. Oh no, my god! Just one time. That's just like fucking eight. Time. That's a loss of eight hundred man points, dude. You're done. You're done. Man I can't even be on the show. I can't even bro. be fucking seen with you, man. Your card is gone. <laughs> yeah. Your penance. Your penance is three cigars and a fucking tall beer. Okay. You, you had, yeah. You know, I don't. I don't drink, wash but the, I will, uh... You need to wash the shame out of your mouth. It's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Look at that chat. The chat is just Ling you up, bro. I know, bro. L it's, after it's... L after L. That, that after might actually. <laughs> that might be the one thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. L L L L L L. Just the whole chat is Ling you. That's it, dude. You're done. I know. All the L's. Can- Give me all the can- L's. You're canceled, dude. You're canceled. <laughs> Meanwhile, my wife is making banger fucking tweets and talking all the time. And so, like, I, I don't I even have a fucking, I don't even have a card to reference. That's L's for me, too. <laughs> <That's L's and laughs> I wasn't going to mention it. I was going to let you our- slide, bro. I was going to be, that's- I was going to, I was going to take one and, and just let <laughs> you slide, bro. You just got to remember, yeah. man, nobody gives me an L except my chat. That's the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> and I see some familiar names over here. So I know that they're, they're, they're willing to hand them out. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. know that they're willing to hand them out. So <laughs> throw them down, bro. Throw them down. I, That's right. you know, um, I used to own a house in California, I owned a house in Hayward. And, uh, it was, I mean, it was a good time, but it, you know, I hated being there. I, I got to be honest with you. Every every minute I was in California is hated. I I find it interesting because I, um, every time that Brian and I have talked about going on the show, I'm like, I, I can't go to California, dude. I just can't do it. First of all, I, I go I, I go armed everywhere. I, I'm not I'm not even lying. Like, I mean, 
you know, like I'm literally right now that is within arm's reach. <laughs> you know, you want my, my stuff. opinion, my opinion on these. So the chatter asks, it says, this is from uh, Austin opinions on these girls trying to cancel you and Brian. Oh, who gives a shit? It's a long line, bro. It's a long <laughs> line. It is. <laughs> and what they're, what they're mad about, all that they're mad about is that they didn't get enough attention. And so they feel like they can, they can use a process to punish us by yeah. trying to go after us so that they can get what they didn't get on the show. Attention. I love that. <clears throat> and I recognize, recognize very quickly that that's all the fuck they wanted. Attention. Yeah. I mean, I do think that you might get, I, I do think Josie, that the next claim Josie, will be Josie's over. Josie's yelling. Yeah. Josie's saying that you kicked her off, dude. I didn't kick her off. She's right there. Oh. No. Well, there you go. Well, now, now you're I'm back. back on. Yeah. No. I wasn't on. I was talking and I saw like you're in the back. Like, what oh. the heck? Oh. Like, well, I, I, did, I didn't actually see you. All I saw was the microphone. So I figured that you had stepped away again because it was really quiet. So I just was like, yeah. No, I'm here. All right. Oh. Cool. Anyway, so yeah, these all, all that that is, is uh, it's just a hapless attention grab. They want to get into a tit for tat fight with people who have much larger audiences than they do. And they want to try to uh, kindle up some kind of conflict. This is very common for people who have viral moments. They always want to repeat them. And when they can't repeat them, they end up trying to move into destructo mode in order to drive attention to themselves because they have nothing to offer. These chicks are selling the G that loves you shirts and their stupid ass clothing line. They're not doing anything productive at all. They're uh, politically lame. And uh, so, you know, they, they look dumb. Yeah. And they got mad because they looked dumb. It's an old story. <laughs> old story on the internet. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I think you're right. And they'll they'll just find something else to hate you for. It's not like it's gonna stop tomorrow. Um Josie uh they they commented on you, so I know. I just want to make sure you saw that. Oh, the viral trans the <laughs> The viral Decepticon post. Yeah. You guys want you want me to talk about the Decepticon post? Yeah. I, yeah. I can do that, I guess. So as you're aware, there are currently robots in disguise known as Decepticons. Mm. Um, and they came to planet Earth in order to infiltrate women's sports. And they have been doing this uh, pretty well. And you, you can spot them pretty easily because they don't quite look like women they look like something else besides women can't quite put my finger on it but yeah anyway so anyway these decepticons who take the form of a human female um are dominating and, and sure. what you notice is that they will sometimes grab these women and bash their fucking brains in during these contact sports events and crack their skulls open, overpower them, brutalize them, you know, the whole nine yards. But from my perspective, right, the Decepticons would not be here if the women hadn't shot a signal up into outer space towards the uh, planet Cybertron, which was engaged in the middle of the Civil War and offered the Decepticons safe haven. So I say that they have to deal with that shit and we don't. That's my take. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Decepticons are uh, a real problem. So, yeah. Yep. Especially the the ones that get into your house. So, uh, well, I don't I don't have any Decepticon. Did you bro, you got Decepticons in your house? Uh, did you not see the thing I put up on the screen? <laughs> Wait, you just what do you what do you you got Megatron? Is Megatron leading the Decepticons in your home, bro? No, I, I just says, uh, you know, I got this nice little meme here. I was, I was, you know, I was having fun with you. It's all right. It's all right. I'll get rid of it. Don't worry. Done. Done. Being funny. Okay. I'm not okay. that funny. I, you gotta, you gotta I don't remember. I'm not that funny. I, I don't, I don't want, I, I, if you got Decepticons in your house, man, I don't, I'm not sure that I can. Wrong kind of Decepticon, with. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> So the um, the Decepticon army, which is currently infiltrating and destroying all of female sports, which is no big loss because nobody watched it or cared about it anyway. Um, 
is uh, the there's a resistance which has started. It was led by a female author who wrote about a gay wizard, and she has been losing her mind on the internet as the feminist turf that she is, and she is anti Cybertron, and she wants to remove all of these Decepticons from sports. But unfortunately, she has to appeal to the patriarchy in order to get it done. And we're just laughing at her and saying, no, you deal with your own problem, Broad, which in turn pisses them off more because then they have to appeal to the patriarchy even more. And then they start making moral arguments, which is hilarious. You say, but if you weren't political pawns, we would actually listen to your moral arguments. But since you're just another voting block, we don't care about your issues. Weird how that works. It's every man for themselves out here now, right? Yep. Apparently. Apparently that's the way they want it, right? Well, that's what they did. They said they said that it was super important that every stupid, retarded 18-year-old from here to Timbuktu with a vagina needed to be able to go out and destroy the informed votes of you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 year olds. So, okay, we let it happen. And now they get to bear the fruits of that. And the fruits taste really bitter. They don't taste very good. <laughs> that is accurate. That is very accurate. And that's a very, very true. Nick, I, I missed this. Uh, you said you live in New York, so you, you can't relate to anything you guys are saying. Um, yeah, I, I I get to spend some time in uh, in New York City. And uh, it's it's terrible pretty much every time I go. It's actually gotten so bad. I, I don't even I don't even go into the city unless I absolutely have to. Um, well, you know, it's really you want to you want to know an ultimate irony of the world before I before I get off your stream and sure, eat, man, you know, eat, eat this pizza that got here. I'll tell you, you one of the biggest right. ironies that I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, the, the nobody knows who to root for. So when I say, uh, no, let trans men inside of women's sports, the trannies are like, well, I'm sorry, <clears throat> the Decepticons are like, yeah, well, wait, what? <laughs> now, yeah, <laughs> let, them, let them destroy the entire sports. And then the, the feminists are like, no, but you're also for LGBTQ rights? And then, I mean, they say it's utter chaos. They don't know who to root for. They don't know who... You know what I mean? Like, if you just say, yeah, go ahead, destroy all their sports. They don't know. Nobody knows who they're supposed to side with. And that, my friend, is amazing. That is progressive intersectionality at its finest. They don't know which victim class to scream at. Do we scream at the oppressed <laughs> women? The oppressed women who had to get all of these scholarships to go to, to college on these bogus sports teams that nobody watches. Uh, and support them, or do we support the oppressed trans who? Well, I guess they, what I just they, yell they, at they just all of them, all of them. No, you don't yell at them. You you throw a knife in the middle of the room and let them gut each other while you laugh. <laughs> I can't do yeah. that. I'm gonna get deported. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm only allowed to yell when I'm a citizen. I will do that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm but not... I mean, we don't we don't want any more fucking Canadians around here. Come on. I vote Republican. Does that change your mind? I no. vote Republican. No. no. No, you will you will you will bear birth to a partial French child, so he'll be born a liberal immediately. That that's a disqualifier. Sorry. Yeah, but my man is Vietnamese from Vietnam, like from the era of the Vietnam War. So like they hate communism. So that might actually compensate. Yeah, but his his poor son or daughter is going to be half French. Has he thought about that? Yeah, that's even better. No, that's the worst. That's what, what is he? What, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna put noodles on his fucking bagel on his croissant? He's gonna have a noodle croissant. Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> he's gonna have a yeah fried noodles prong. on a steak. He's gonna he's gonna have a fucking fried prawn croissant in the morning. <laughs> that's the one. That would be a. That would just be a. Yeah. <laughs> Faux yeah. bun. <laughs> Bo -bon. uh, all right i'm gonna get out of here guys go eat have your pizza a, man they had to wait um, an hour 
I am. Have a uh, have a wonderful evening. Thank you for having me on your show. I very much appreciate it. Anytime, Always good to have my you, friend. Sir. Anytime. Always good to have you. All right. What do I think about Mark Robinson? Um, if he actually does what he says he's going to do, I think he's awesome. 